Hello everybody and welcome to heaven. I'm facing my fears and filming in public. <laughs> Okay, maybe before I continue with whatever that intro was, I should probably give some context. Leicas are not cheap cameras. This is probably not news to anybody. <laughs> the Leica Q2 is so expensive that every time I think about buying one, my wallet becomes sentient just to laugh at me. The original Leica Q on the other hand can be had on the used market for quite a bit less. Okay, it's still expensive especially for a camera that's almost 8 years old now and especially for a guy who made 1 euro and 23 cents off his last video, but it might actually be worth it under the right circumstances. Spoiler alert, one of those circumstances is that your finances are more stable than this idiot's. Yo, I can buy this car for 45,000 euro. Thank god I only have 82 dollars in my bank account. I'm gonna be honest, as somebody who regularly pretends to be a camera reviewer on YouTube, I should always go into a review with an open mind. But when I got my hands on the Leica Q, I already had some pretty strong prejudice against this camera. The piece of glass attached to the camera to be specific. Everybody raves about Leica lenses and especially about how good the lens on the Leica Q series is. While yes, it is optically extremely good, I was really worried about the 28mm focal length. Why was I worried, you ask? Let me tell you a quick tale from the heyday of my hipster analog phase. I had brought my Leica R7 and a 28mm Leica Elmerit R lens as my only camera for a weekend trip to Hamburg. Long story short, everything went wrong. <laughs> I was having a really hard time with the 28mm lens because usually I shoot a lot tighter focal lengths and I enjoy minimal compositions. Tighter focal lengths make it a lot easier than wide angle lenses to cut out distractions like construction sites or clutter like advertisements or that Burger King you've driven past three times today and you know you shouldn't but getting a triple whopper as a morning snack has never hurt anybody right? But not only was I frustrated with the 28mm lens in that situation, the image just turned out so bad for multiple reasons that I ended up going back to primarily shooting digital. So when I saw that the Leica Q had a 28mm focal length, I was already bracing myself for another round of disappointment. Just like when you get picked last in PE class for soccer and your team makes you goalie against your will but everybody laughs at you when you duck away from the ball instead of stopping it. Yeah, 28mm lenses might not be my only trauma. Anyways, I started off with the Leica Q fully expecting to not like this camera, but for some reason I ended up really enjoying it.
taken a lot of photos of cars in my life, especially with lenses around the 60 to 85 mm focal lengths, because I love getting detailed shots of cars and removing distractions and all of that. These photos are from the same location when I was here in 2021. But what I realized was that I already have hundreds of good photos of cars shot with lenses in that focal range. If I were to go into this location with the same lens again, I would just be repeating what I've always done. Yeah, sure, the cars and the lighting might be slightly different, but I would be shooting the same compositions, the same photos, making the same bad decision to eat a triple whopper for breakfast. <laughs> and that's not how you grow as a photographer. Now, this is where the Leica Q finally comes in. I headed into the location and took a photo I would normally take. Standard detail shot of some taillights. But with the 28mm lens it didn't look great because it's just too wide for a shot like that in my opinion. And then my puny little brain finally realized I was just being a whiny little sh**. <laughs> and this was actually the best camera I could have brought for this shoot. This camera was forcing me to actively think so much more about my compositions than I normally would have. And I took so many photos that I would have normally never taken. Who would have thought that it takes a company to weld a wide angle lens to a really expensive camera for me to finally think more about my compositions. Once I had that realization of how good this actually was as an exercise to force myself out of my photography comfort zone, I started having so much fun. Though it might have just been all of the gasoline fumes, I don't know, I passed out at some point and woke up 28 minutes later from a Leica haze. After I regained consciousness, I realized that I didn't even tell you about today's sponsor yet. It's you guys! All of the images I'm showing from this day were edited with my Analog Vibes Lightroom preset pack. I developed these presets to replicate the dreamy analog look, but I also found out that the presets without grain work extremely well for a clean street photography or automotive photography look. So if you want to help me keep this channel alive, you can head to the link in the description and get the presets for just $5. And thank you so much to everyone who supports me. I think I want to get married here. This is absolute heaven. So, did the Leica Q make me a better photographer? I think it kind of did. I don't know if it was the presence of millions of dollars of beautiful cars or the beautiful Leica build quality or just the aforementioned gasoline fumes, <laughs> but for some reason I had so much fun shooting with the Leica Q on this day and it really pushed me out of my comfort zone creatively. Of course you don't need this camera to shoot a 28mm lens, but for some reason it took this camera to make me realize the habits I've been stuck in. 
One of those habits might also be buying too many cameras, but we're gonna address one of those problems at a time. <laughs> this video is not a is the Leica Q still worth it video, because for a full review I will definitely have to do more testing. But if you're interested in a full review, then please consider subscribing to the channel. I would love to hear your thoughts on the Leica Q in the comments and if you've had any similar experiences. Also check out my latest video because it's at least twice as good as this one was. Okay, thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Bye bye!